Hello, Earth Signs. It's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach. I hope you guys are doing super, super great. We are going to do the read for the week of 21st or the 28th of November. I want to start off in telling you guys big hugs, thank yous, dabs, high fives, and thumbs up for thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and your kindness, your shares, your likes, subscribes, letting me be a part of your life with the video reads, and also gifting them to your friends. So thank you, thank you very much. Okie dokie, guys. Now, this week, we are going to be focusing on family and relationships. So you can apply the message, whether it be with the one that you love or with the ones that you love, okay? So with that being said, this is a Thanksgiving week. So um, I wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving, if I forget to tell you. Um, and thank you guys for being my family. So disclaimers before we get started. If you're easily offended by language... I may not be the reader for you. I do use adult language, and sometimes the messages can be a little adult also. This is for 18 and up. Also, um, this is a general read, guys. If it does not apply to you, remember to watch your rising and moon sign, and hopefully we can connect in another way, maybe through the oracle card. However, with that being said, this is something I like to tell people before you start a video. Always, you know, a reader, a tarot reader's video, always think about your issue at hand and ask for guidance specifically for that. And it's going to lead you to the right videos, okay? So, with that being said, let's jump into our read, our signs. This is for Virgo. Hello, my Virgos. I love y'all very much. Y'all always, always show me some love. Virgos, Taurus, and Capricorns. My Cappies. All right, guys. So, this is the Shaman of Song from the Shaman Oracle by Will Kingham and, oh Lord, I just went blank, Will Kingham and John Matthews. Okay, there we go. Now, I used to have a lot of trouble with this card because I was like, what the hell is coming out of his head? And why is he holding a baby? I don't understand it. But this is about harmony, raising your joy, calming the agitation, awareness of invisible matters. And to me, what I think about it is like, I like in my head right now, I hear the Beach Boys a uh, good vibration song going and going and going. I will not sing it for you because I am not very harmonious, okay? However, this is what I think about raising your vibrations, giving to birth something new because there's a baby in his hands, okay? And he's trying to do something different. And the shamanist song used to use song as power to bring healing to those in need and to feel their way into the heart of spirit. The song itself represents energy and life, transcends time, place, mood and emotions bringing harmony in times of stress listen to this part we may not be singers but we can sing in our hearts so i feel like this is you raising your vibration in whatever situation you have going on for yourself at the moment I like it's not focused in there we go and i kind of feel like this is you moving to another level you lifting up your vibration you saying you know what i'm birthing something new in my my spirit and I am ready to shine through. So that leads us right into your power animal. And I was reading a lot on the elephant. And I don't even know if I wrote this in my notes. But the elephants here at the at the like strongest vibrational level. They can hear the lowest one. Um, because of the vibrations in the earth. They have sensitive feet. They're just very attuned. Even though they can't hear that well. They can feel the vibrations way better than any other animal. So the elephant is about strength, royalty, ancient wisdom, and patience. So it's like the gentle giant. And the main question to ask yourself when the elephant appears is, are you taking care of yourself? Are you nurturing your body? Can you see things in the big picture? Have you been isolating yourself from your family? Because this is about finding a new way, finding a new way home. Um, being intelligent, the elephant is very family oriented. They run in packs or herds, however you want to think about it with the female leader. Okay. So when a baby is born in the little family, all of the female elephants get together and help. They're very family oriented. They're very loyal. They have wonderful memories. Buddha picked the white elephant as his animal for incarnation. Just another, another little hint. The Hindu God Ganesh is, um, is the remover of obstacles and has an elephant head. There is something to be said about the elephant. The lessons are about gentleness, commitment, community in relationships. Also thinking about mother-like energy, support. Tap into the dream world because they're about astral um, 
pr progression, okay? Listen to what your dreams are telling you. Have some tough skin too, okay? Bringing manifestation, remembering that slow and steady does win the race. It's also about letting go of the past and walking, not running because the elephants can't run into the future. Good luck and wisdom is also part of this, um, what also represents the elephant. So for me, guys, I'm, I'm, just, I'm going to tell you what I'm kind of getting. The elephant is telling you to move slowly. Don't go into this week like trying to rush and bombard things and, and be the boss. This is about feeling the vibrations first, raising your vibration before you react, and going into it with a strong maternal maternal okay very loving energy very supportive energy for those around you all righty so let's bless our cards together Tell us these cards for virgo capricorn and taurus for the week of november 21st to the 28th give us insight about family friends and the energy for the week and that is it. So I'm going to move this card just because it kind of throws it off a little bit. But just remember that we have the elephant energy with us. Now this is a five card spread that's going to be focusing on you, your family, the family situation. And like I said, attribute family to whatever you want it to be. It could be you, your lover, whatever you want it to be, okay? So you right now are the wheel. Woohoo! Moving and grooving, aren't we? And your family is all about the love right now. Oh, I forgot to introduce our family. So before I covered up our family, which is the Carobs, this is us, guys. This is the giver of, I'm going way ahead of myself. He brings in information with unconditional love. This is the Carob of um, Arrows. Then we have the Carob of Wands, bringing in a lot of action, baby. The Carob of Cups, bringing in that love. And this is your special Carob Earth Signs. The Carob of Manifestation, the Carob of Disc. All right, these are like our ancestors. And I, I always have them up during the weeklies to remind you that we are all connected. That without one, we don't have the other, okay? So like I said, this is you, the wheel. Your family is all about love. Wow, this is very close to... Um, Wow, like I, these cards, the Two of Cups and the Ace came out for uh, Fire Signs, but the Ace came out reversed. All right, in the same spot too, that's kind of crazy. All right, so the next card that you have is how to deal with the Ace of Wands is going to be the Six of Arrows reversed. And then the possible outcome is going to be the Prince of Wands, all right? You have some fire-like energy going on, Earth signs, and strength for the overall situation. <sighs> okay, so let's see what's going on here. So I'm going to pull you a little bit closer. So we have this wheel that's going on, and this is a representation of you. So you're moving in the right way, um, Earth signs. Come on, guys. You are going the right direction. Don't question yourself. Keep pushing through. Using your higher vibrations, trusting what you feel, trusting your intuition, you're moving and grooving, okay? Your family wants to pour love into you. You want to pour love into them. This is also telling you how to deal with this is by allowing this to happen. I don't know our signs if you and your family, this Thanksgiving is going to be a better Thanksgiving than it was last year. Um, there is something that shifted in your family. I think you raised your vibration. You put out some different feelings, some different emotions, which is making the family be poured into each other, okay? Which is why the Ace of Wands is telling you this is a new beginning. This is something brand new, a new tradition. Something's, something's going to get started. I'm getting excited. Um, Michael Jackson is coming through my head. Um, we're going to be starting something is what's going through my head. And I almost started singing for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> so now, now, no, this is the energy that's around you. I'm sorry. So you're the wheel and you're moving and grooving. Your family is the, um, the two of cups and they're pouring love into you and you're pouring love into them. Then the energy around the family is the ace of wands. This is new for some people, very new energy. That's, it's just embrace it and take it. Okay. Because it's healing. 
how to deal with it is to realize that those hurts that you've had from the past, you're going to have to let them go, my friend. It's this six of arrows. It's telling you if this is a relationship, if you're looking at this with your lover or with your boyfriend or girlfriend and you stop being together, okay, let, understand that the six of arrows is saying you've learned your lesson, move on because the karmic tie should be broken, okay? If this isn't a love relationship and this is just you trying to get over something, heal because old wounds... <laughs> They uh, can be reopened very quickly with a simple phrase, a simple word. And it's about patience and endurance. Remember what the elephant represents. Feel your way through the situation. Feel with your heart, not with, not with anything else. I'm, I'm over here and I'm, sometimes I wish you could see what I'm doing because I feel like this is you like kind of creeping through the situation. You know, like that little trying to crawl through it and, and, and feel the ground and feel things out. I feel like you're trying to feel things out because you're afraid that someone's going to bring something up from your past or something that happened last year or something that happened that wasn't your best shining moment. However, I'm about to say curse. F them, okay? This is a new beginning and that's what the Ace of Wands is saying is, Damn it, we're starting over. Leave that shit in the past and let's go, okay? So I feel like that's what's coming in with, the, with how to deal with it is realizing, hey, the shit popped off. It wasn't good last year, but this is a new year and we're going to roll with it, okay? Now, the possible outcome that you're going to get is this Prince of Wands. For some of y'all, this might be somebody coming to the Thanksgiving dinner that looks oh so hot and has a nice big wand. And for others, this is creative energy. But this is also you still trying to keep your firewall up. I know that the, the description of the card sometimes doesn't match what I'm telling you. However, I feel like this is you holding on to your creativity or holding on to something that you don't want anyone to get near. You see this fire? It's like all around you. It's like you're only going to let people get... <coughs> <sighs> Sorry, my asthma. You're only going to let people get so close. I'm trying to breathe. You're only going to let them get so close to you, but you're not going to let them get too close to you. Because if you let them get too close to you, you're afraid that they're going to do the same thing that they did to you before. Hence the six of arrows. But, but look. Look at the beauty of this. You, your family, the energy around it, okay? That's the beauty of it, is that this is something different. You have raised your vibration. You have put out this vibe that you want things to be better this year, earth signs, and it is. You're going to need strength. And the reason why I say there's a lot of fire in there is there's a lion. Here's the lion. Here's the lions. And he's a fire guy. So... <coughs> Apologies. Mm. The energy around you can either be like a fire sign, okay, or with a lot of creative energy, a lot of pizzazz, a lot of shine through, a lot of coming, like, uh, that sounded really bad. <laughs> a lot of energy is coming towards you. It's like action, action, action. Putting the love into action to get over the past that might come back to haunt you. The thing is, you have raised your vibration. Do not go backwards, okay? Don't go back to the way things used to be. Sorry, guys, I'm moving things. Just, just jacking up your whole video today. So I just kind of feel like things are going the way that they should. You've got to trust them. You've got to understand that good things are coming. You know, the shaman of song is telling you, you're birthing new things in your, in your spirit. Raise your vibration. Listen to your higher calling. Feel things out. Don't always react and have patience, not only with others, but with yourself also. Because sometimes you can get in your head a little bit too much. But this thinking that the old is always going to come back is keeping your firewall up. For others, you're going to need to embrace this little hottie that's coming into your life. Yes, I know it shows up as a, as a prince, but this is a general read, so it can be a princess. Embrace it. Enjoy it for what it is and have strength. Okay? So I'm looking at this, and I want to clarify the Six of Arrows. What 
what are we healing from? There is more. This is attributed to Leo. So some of y'all have been really hurt by a fire sign, okay? And he might come back, all right? For some of y'all, you need to take him back. And for others, you don't. This is oppression. This is feeling super, super heavy. And that is why you have the Six of Arrows. This is somebody returning, guys. I'm sorry to let you know. They might show up at the dinner freaking table. And you might have to, you might have to break some bread with them, okay? However, it's always your choice. And ladies, if it's your gentleman, I'm telling you that piece is a dime piece. That is a nice wand they have, okay? Because it is showing up nice and big. So, earth signs, you might be having some good love. Who was that? Um, good loving body rocking, knocking boots all night long. Some of y'all may be knocking some boots all night long. H-Town style, okay? <laughs> And you might need some strength to get through that night. But um, it's looking pretty good. Either way it goes, guys, I feel that your family is going to be in a good situation. Your love life might be in a good situation, too. Uh, you might need to take some Advil in the morning, but it's going to be good, all right? And this is why I say this is for adults. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, Earth Signs, I don't know. I have, you know, I read something else on the elephant. Okay, and if you're not, if you're easily offended, this is where you need to stop. Um, and it was talking about the genitals of the elephant. And sometimes they were used as fertility gods because they were known to have the largest genitals. And, of course, it just came out right now. I didn't write that in my notes because I know some people are easily offended. However, it's about fertility. It's about um, enjoying the act of sex. And there's nothing wrong with sex. Nobody's approved here, okay? But I just found it hilarious that it talked about having the largest genitals. And they just came on out over here. So, <laughs> you are going to have a pretty good Thanksgiving, Earth Signs. I hope that you guys are super, super happy. And let's get into your Oracle cards before I get myself into too much trouble. Because, damn it, I wish I was an Earth Sign. <laughs> so, guys, you got the smudging ceremony and the spirit of fire. This is what I'm going to tell you. Fire is coming in whether you want it to or not, all right? This is about to, you're about to be starting something. All right, spirit of fire, transformation. Take some risk and face your fears. Break out of old patterns. Just because you've done it that way doesn't mean you need to keep doing it that way. Change your routines and habits and reach in new directions, all right? The spirit of fire invites you to take some risk and face your fears, okay? Every time you change an old habit, you're moving towards transformation. Take care to keep your energy in balance. Fire that burns too brightly burns out, but a fire that's left, left to smolder dies. So this is all about annihilation of the negative so that you can find a transformation. Remember that fire, it, it cleanses. And I feel like that's what's going on with all this fire sign that's coming in. Holy moly, guys. The things that I'm feeling is insane. I'm standing up. Like, I'm just like... Oh, I don't know what's going on, but this is intense. This is telling you, let go of the past, purify and detox, release whatever doesn't serve or support you. Cleanse your body and environment by doing space clearing and clutter clearing. Let go of the old and discarded and unused and make way for new energy and new beginnings. Eat lightly. Okay, Earth sign. <laughs> this is telling you, watch your diet on Thanksgiving. Eat some greenery, okay? Um, drink lots of fresh water and consume food with strong life force, which means lots of veggies, guys. This is also about saging the place. You might need to cleanse your place after the family leaves to uh, get rid of some residual energy. If there were things in the past that happened in your family, and that's why I'm saying the Six of Arrows is there, and you're still kind of holding on to it like you're afraid that it's going to resurface, this would be a good time to have a smudging ceremony and pray that it be totally removed. Pray for that family member and pray for you and envision yourself, mindfully see yourself and them coming together and, and burying the hatchet. And that's a probably a weird way of saying it. However, just know that I got like two different messages. Family-wise, it's going to be okay. Just allow that healing process to take place and be patient. Don't keep your firewall up too high. However, relationship way, he's coming back, baby. And he's swinging and dreaming, okay? And you better be ready. Or she's coming back and you're, you're slanging and banging. And there's going to be some good loving, body rocking, knocking boots all night long. 
And I want to know, at least just a thumbs up if it goes down. I don't want to know the details, but just let me know if this reading resonates with you. All right, our signs, big hugs, lots of love. Just a reminder that this will be the final week for the Thanksgiving special. As far as the buy a read, get a read for 20. Uh, for more details, check the dialogue box below. Also, guys, thank you very much for joining me. And I, I hope I didn't offend anybody. However, it's just the messages that have came through. God bless. Stay, stay strong, guys, because you're going to need strength, physical, mental, and emotional strength, guys, because you are like raising that vibration. <laughs> All right, guys, big hugs, lots of love, and you take care. Happy Thanksgiving.